doing family history research and I came across an article that had my mother's name in it. And it was from 1993 and it was referencing how she and her colleagues were preparing students for a test because their students had the lowest test scores in science in their entire county at the time. Students of color are routinely generalized as lacking content knowledge in various academic areas, particularly math and reading. And science tends to be the ultimate combination of math and reading. Therefore, they suffer greatly. So why is it that so many resources neglect or overlook the cultural experiences of minority roots? How many students have been sledding downhill on a toboggan? Dr. Gloria Ladsing Billings discusses a term culturally relevant. What does this mean for teaching and why is it so important? It's always talked about in professional developments, in trainings, at research conferences, but what exactly is it? Culturally relevant science teaching is much more than talking about the black and Hispanic scientists during a specific month or showing the movie hidden figures at the end of the year. Cultural relevance is a way to engage all students in your classroom, a way to reach all cultures, ethnicities, languages, minorities, all those boxes that people are asked to check. It's a way to make content relatable to them. Your grandma's pound cake recipe requires 200 centiliters of milk. How many decaliters would that be? It takes a student's personal lived experiences, their stories, what they wear, what they eat, what they know, their surroundings, their environment, and transforms it into the content to make it more relatable to them. Because let's be real, you need to relate to something to be interested in it. It must be integrated into the phenomena, woven into our warm-ups and bell ringers, embedded into our practice problems and activities, and it should be at the seams of our relationships that we're building in science classrooms. Teachers spend a lot of time searching for that perfect video, that perfect worksheet, that perfect lab report that supplements their lesson. And they search and they search and they search, and when they come across something, it's either too boring, it's too long, it's too short, it doesn't cover enough, it covers too much, it doesn't cover exactly what you need it to cover, and then you end up disappointed, your students end up disappointed, your lesson is not as good as it could be. Well, while teaching, I've always sought creative things and tried to think out of the box to engage my students, and the pandemic, really forced a bit more innovation and creativity out of me and so many of my colleagues. After getting sick and tired of searching and searching and searching for the perfect resource, I started making my own videos and I realized my students loved it. They loved having someone to relate to. They loved having someone telling them jokes. The covering of a grape that's originally on there is there to protect the grape in nature from rain, from snow, anything that could harm it. In the midst of COVID-19, so many parents had to become teachers and so many students had to become parents in some ways more than they already were. And some students had to be the teachers for themselves and their siblings. So what if more students and teachers could have accessed some of these things that I created during that time? And that's what I want to do now. I want to share what I've made and what I want to continue to make with the world. So now for the fun part. I thought to myself, well, what if I did this for every lesson, every standard, every unit? There's a lot of oils, a lot of fats in this Cheeto, which makes this fire look very awesome. It's my hope that culturally relevant science can serve as a hub for resources, videos, PowerPoints, lesson plans, activities that are aligned to the standards so that they can take their pedagogy to the next level and that students can take their achievement to the next level. I want the practice problems to deal with a grandma's pound cake recipe. I want the slang to be present. I want social media to be embedded in their education as much as it's embedded in their social lives. If I do mention a scientist or an engineer in some scenario, I do want the engineer shown to be a woman so that our kids can see themselves in the content that they're learning and so that teachers will be more engaging and what they're engaging students with will be relevant to their lives and keep them yearning for more. And you know, not for a test, but to build confident students with endless possibilities and empowered mindsets that can go out and be critical thinkers and solve problems that will continue to be created. 
So if you like what you saw and heard, please support Culturally Relevant Science. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share this video, share the website, and donate so that we can have a successful launch August 1st, 2021, so that this can be pushed out to students everywhere this school year. Thank you so much.